Shalom, everyone. I know that we have Rosh Hashanah tonight, and I have something to tell the church in regards to this day. So everyone's waiting for Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets. Every single year, we have Christians saying that the rapture is going to be on the Feast of Trumpets, or it might be, or it would make sense it was because of X, Y, and Z. What does your Bible say? Where does it say that it will be or could be on that exact date? It could be on any day, according to Mark chapter 13, verse 32. No one knows the day or the hour, not the angels, not even Jesus. I will tell you what God told me last year. I was constantly watching and waiting for the rapture because I heard it would make sense if it was on Passover. It would make sense if it was on the Feast of Trumpets. It would make sense if it was on Easter. So I just kept getting fixated on that. But God admonished me. He told me that my eyes were fixated where they should not have been. I was focusing on when Jesus would come back and get us out of here, not what I could be doing for God in the meantime. That's selfish of us, and that's exactly what he told me. It's selfish. It's not about God taking us out of here because we think this world is going to hell in a handbasket. It's not about what we want God to do for us. Why are we not thinking about what we can do for God while we are still blessed with the opportunity to be here? We are blessed that we still have time to work and bear fruit for the kingdom of heaven. There are still people out there who need to hear the warning bell and need someone to pray for them to get saved because no one else will. If you are just waiting for Jesus to get you out of here because you think life sucks, why are you sitting here thinking about you? You should be honored that God put you in these times and called you for a time as this, and you should be getting out there witnessing, telling people the plan of salvation, and showing people the love of God in you and through you, not sitting around trying to calculate or daydream about when God can get you out of here. He said the church is guilty of this, and we are sitting around being ineffective, absolutely ineffective. I was guilty of this last year, and now that I see this happening again, I was moved to warn the body of Christ so that we wake up and stop making the same mistake over and over again. I even saw a comment on a post asking for a prayer request for a lady who is in a coma, and someone replied that at this point, it would be better if God took her home because of the tribulations that we are in and the ones that are coming so that she wouldn't drop out and lose her faith. That was just so disappointing. Is this where we are? Is this our mindset? Really? Come on, family. We can do better than that. We are better than this. Something else he told me, and you know this too, is that the only thing delaying the Lord from withdrawing the restrainer, the Holy Spirit that is in us, is his grace. Because if he came to pull us out of here, number one, many people would perish, including those who consider themselves members of his church. Number two, when we got to heaven, most of us wouldn't get a well done, my good and faithful servant like we thought. Instead, we would be told, you barely made it. Because we were sitting around wondering what day Jesus is going to come back and get us out of here. When we should have been working for the Lord until that day came. I tell you this in love, and it's because I want you and the body of Christ to be the best that we can be. These times require it. I hope this word blessed you. Take care.